Hi, beautiful. There's one thing TikTok is good for. It's good for a haircut fail. What the f***? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I was wondering why this was put on the list today of things for me to watch. I was like crafting my response, you know, like because I usually like, think about what I want to say after the video is done. In my head, I'm like going through the motions like, oh, I want to talk about how good this haircut is. Like, wow, great technique. He's amazing form when he cuts the hair. He looks like a very talented hairdresser. And he is a talented hairdresser. But something happened. Something happened when we got to about 30 seconds of the video and then the last two, three seconds. What? What the f happened there? Everything just went f bad, like so f bad. It went from cute, okay, she's getting a little bob, to what the f is that? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm being a little mean. Sometimes I let loose. It's one of those days. This is just my opinion. I'm not here. I don't know what it was. I just like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. She doesn't even look real. Is this AI? AI is getting wild. This looks like AI. I don't know. From the styling to the cut, to the look on her damn face, to the outfit she's wearing, I'm just not understanding any of it. That wasn't even the same cut that he was doing earlier. What I mean is this doesn't seem right and I don't enjoy it. And I fuck hated that. That was so frustrating. It was like so good, so good, peaceful. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, uh. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready to talk now. Why were you doing that? Why did you even have a paper cutter at the salon? Oh. My God, don't do this. Honestly though, for an at-home haircut, I love when I switch it up so fast. Like I honestly, this is like my real thought process. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, wait a minute, this might make a little sense. If you're gonna cut your hair at home, maybe this is a good option for you. I should not say that. It's never a good option to do this, but I would like to see it done successfully. <laughs> just a little bit, like I'm interested. I'm just interested in seeing like what would happen if that went right. I feel like you'd end up with a really nice, perfect haircut. Maybe this is a tool that needs to be invented. Y'all are really crazy for doing that in this salon. It looks like a nice salon too. Y'all are really crazy. And that girl was really Ready for it. I want to know what the conversation was beforehand. Like, I had this TikTok idea. We're going to bring the paper cutter over and we're going to cut your hair with it. And she's like, <laughs> down. And this guy's like, this is just going to go viral. And it did. Okay, wait. Wait, I said. That was so cool. Oh my god, I want to do it so bad. I want somebody to do I want to do that so bad. That looks like so much fun. I don't know, it looks like a video game. Like Roblox or something. Like, I love it. It's so fun. I love the look. Hoping it's a wig. Because <laughs> if it isn't, then I definitely don't love the look. But for a wig, for like an editorial thing, I'm so vibing with it. It's such a good little fun concept. But yeah, definitely not practical. Because imagine going to bed the first night you get this haircut. You wake up, you're like, oh, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. You're just like, ah, today's gonna be a beautiful day. You know, you forget you got a haircut yesterday and you go in the mirror. The sight you would see would not be desirable. Your hair would be everywhere. Just, she would look like she just got fucking electrocuted or she rubbed her head in a balloon and everything just went everywhere. It would be an absolute tragic disaster mess of a situation and a sight to see. So with that said, don't do this to your real hair, do it to a wig. But the color is interesting also. I don't really know what that color is at the bottom. It's like a peach color. It's a very interesting combination of colors. It's like blue, green, peach. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely something original. And you know, it's, that's all you can ask for in life, originality. <laughs> Do that? Put the lighter down. 
Why would you do that? Um, okay, so there's a lot of things going wrong in this video. I have a few questions first. Why are we not using just like a lighter? A candle? I don't know. I guess it's more cost efficient maybe because we're not using like gasoline or whatever you put in a uh, propane. Propellant? Propeller? Propane? Not propane. Gasoline? No. Whatever the fuck you put in lighters, it's more cost effective if you just use a candle. I get that. Seems a little bit less cool with the candle. You know, it's giving a little like medieval times with the candle there. I would have probably used like a really cool lighter if I was gonna do this shit, but I wouldn't do this shit. And you know why? Because A, it smells terrible. Have you ever burnt your hair? Have you ever smelt what it smells like? It smells like rotting eggs and flesh. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm sorry if that was graphic for you guys, but it really does smell like that. It's awful. Second of all, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> how was her whole head not going up in flames. That's my question as well. How is it only burning off of the split ends? I just don't understand. Let's make sure we don't ever do this again and we don't ever do this at home. I don't want to see any videos of you guys trying to do this because this is not going to work. If you want your split ends to go away, you got to use some bond boosting products. I got you. such shock and disbelief today at what's going on. I just was digesting all of that and I am just shocked, utterly shocked. She was just not hesitating. She was like, I have a plan and I'm gonna fucking execute today. And I can appreciate that for sure. I am definitely the same way. I'm like, something's in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna do it right the fuck now. Like this is gonna happen immediately. And she's the same way. She was like, I'm gonna section this hair out. She did a pretty good job of sectioning. She did kind of a horseshoe around the parietal ridge of her head. I don't know. I feel like she has hair experience in some which way. Maybe she's a hairdresser. I don't know. Something was going right for her. And then she got to the back of her head and that's when it started getting a little spooky because she grabbed all the hair and she just cut it. And I was like, that's going to give you something weird. That's going to give you something that you don't want. The back was a little weird. You know, it was like a little melody, a little long, a little sang, it just like wasn't the vibe for us. And then the top, the top was also scary. She then cut that hair and it all just kind of flipped over, which honestly, I mean, it's kind of like a take on like a wolf cut, you know, just taking all the hair and just cutting it. She's, it's a very layered look. It was interesting. The results, obviously she needs to like wash her hair and style it. And I would love to see what it looks like when she does that. Let me actually check if it's on her profile. Oh, she is a hairstylist. That makes sense. Oh, here's a part two. Oh my God. Okay, so she is a hairstylist. That makes a lot of sense. And this looks amazing. I'm like a little bit sad to see her really long, beautiful hair go away. But this yellow look is such a vibe. And she did that all herself, which is so impressive. And the vibrancy of that yellow is just like, <laughs> Captivating, incredible, unbelievably amazing. I love the look. I would love to see you in like pink though. Like a pink would just look fantastic with your skin. But I love the short hair. I think it really makes you like, uh, you know what I mean? Like how do you also explain? It's very like snatched. That's the word. Snatch the fuck boots house down. I'm good. I'm good. Ouch. This is what I felt watching that video. Somebody's like punching me. Why are you hurting me? Externally and internally. That was painful to watch. Don't do that. That was a different take on the haircut we saw earlier with the those different levels, you know? That was a bad take on it, subjectively, you know? It's like, this is like what my take is on it. I don't like that one. It was a little all over the place. I don't think there was like a creative vision there and it looks like it was her real hair, which is even more startling. Please tell me that wasn't her real hair. I literally beg you to tell me that wasn't her real hair. Somebody comment below, was that her real hair or 
fuck not. Because I feel so bad for her. This is another situation where she's gonna wake up in the morning and be like, what the fuck did I fucking do to my hair? And then cry and cry and cry herself back to sleep until she can finally bring herself to live a normal life again with some extensions, a lot of them, or a wig. <laughs> Okay, I get an undercut. I get it, I get the concept. I've done them to people before. Why does this make me look like I have rolls? I don't have rolls. <laughs> Mm, stop it. I get the concept, but every time it freaks me the f out. It really does. It's like that is so much hair to be shaving off of your head. Like that is just so much. And it's like goes over to here. Like it ends over here. Like she's shaving all of this area. Like I just say with an undercut, let's start smaller next time. Let's just do the underneath like right here, you know, instead of all the way up here. I'm not like the biggest fan of undercuts personally. I think it's just a look that was very trendy at one point. And so now when you wear an undercut, it just kind of like feels a little dated. Just my opinion. I would like to have seen the finished look. You're gonna do all that to me and then you're not even gonna show me the finished look. That's so fun. Up. You put me through a lot in that 10 second clip. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I've seen this one before, but I watched so many hair videos that I just don't even know anymore. And I feel like my first reaction to this was like, oh my God, why would you do that? You know, like a normal reaction of anybody. But then the second reaction following that one was like, this is some original and I appreciate a girl that can be original. And also I can appreciate a girl that ain't scared of sh She doesn't give a fuck. She is like, I am doing my thing. I don't care to conform to social norms. That's the shit I fuck with, you know? I can't hate on her. Like, she's a whole mood. Do I want to see the final look? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna look at her profile. Like, she's a whole mood. Like, you see this girl on the street, you don't fuck with her. I'm sure you're a nice girl if you're watching. But you don't, you know? I feel like you're sending off that message like, bitch. Mm. And it's hard. I like it. I might be the one who goes up to you and says, what's up? How you doing? I like your hair. Nice to meet you. And then I would sprint the other direction. Beep, 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 beep. Girl, I realize all I need is you. I can never get enough. Say she hung way down. Yeah. Always down to have a good time. What are you gonna say now? Huh? When they see us running this down Is it how you move? How you smile? How you captivate everything? How the body move? Pretty she had a vision and I fear that she fully executed that vision perfectly. That looks incredible on her. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Actually, I do. Let me know what you guys think down below about this cut. Um, I'm obsessed. Something about me is like, I wish I could commit to something this fucking hardcore and sickening. But the thing is, I would wake up the next day and want to have long, wavy, like beachy looking balayage hair. Like, and then the next day I want to go back to this and I it just doesn't really work like that all the time. So for her, obsessed, she killed it. I don't even know, like I want to know what's going on in her head where she thought about how this would work. Just like the execution was perfect. She cut that big ass chunk out in the front and then she and it was just like a perfect little masterpiece. It was like a sculpture. It's like watching Michelangelo paint. Is he a painter? Michelangelo, he did the thing on the ceiling, right? I did not listen in art history, but she's an artist. <laughs> well, oh my God. <sighs> I think that this might have been the craziest compilation of TikTok haircutting craziness I've ever seen. Almost every single one of those videos had me shocked. If you guys wanna check out some of my new products, we just launched A3 Complex Hair Strengthening and Hair Density Mask and Foam, the most incredible products I've ever put together. Backed by incredible science, this is gonna make your hair feel stronger, look healthier, and give your hair everything it could ever want in your life. Check out those products down below, along with all the rest of my range of products, hair color and hair care at xmodohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye.